So here we have the Volkswagen Golf R DSG, which is the automatic on a 69 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows around the rear. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you can see we have those four exhaust pipes, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase the space even further, and a ski hatch to give you access through to the rear seat. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think that's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're on the inside of the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. We have the fuel gauge over on that right-hand side as well. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 4,094. And above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. The information that's displayed there can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So we're in the driving data menu at the moment. You can have any of these pieces of information permanently displayed there, but there are other menus available to you as well. So assist systems, navigation, your audio, telephone, vehicle status, lap timer, and then back round to where we started uh, a moment ago. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here. We've got stereo controls, phone controls over that side as well. And then on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. This button in the middle, uh, once you set your cruise control, if you give that a push, this car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both slowing it down and speeding it up based on the, uh, the speed of the car in front. And we do have a video that shows how that works. You can find that on our website uh, and also on our YouTube channel as well. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So this is where you can access uh, your radio, for example and you'll see that this car has got DAB, FM and AM radio. You can access your own music as well. And there's plenty of ways to listen to that. You can see them being displayed on the screen now. And they include Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly, as well as making and receiving phone calls. Satellite navigation is accessed via this button in the top right-hand corner. And there's a full video that shows how that works. You can find on our website and also on our uh, YouTube channel again as well. If I pop it in reverse, you'll see we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see being displayed uh, on the screen there. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up, and of course down from here, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on and off again, of course, or you can hit auto and the car will now maintain these temperatures by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. And you can hear it doing that now. So override it, just readjust the fans down to whatever level you want them on and put it back in whatever setting you want it on here. We have this cubby hole section that opens up. You've got some storage there, but also the USB input as well. We then have the full automatic gearbox just here, or the gear lever for the gearbox. Down the left-hand side, we can turn off the traction control we can turn off the stop and start. This car, or this button, will change the, uh, the driving setup of the car. So give that a push. We can put the car in normal, race, eco, which is where we started, and individual. And these are all the things that you can customize with regards to the way this car drives. So if you want the steering, for example, in sport, so slightly stiffer, or in race, then you can do. And you can leave the rest of it in a kind of a normal setting if that's what you want to do. This button starts and stops the car. This one turns on and off the parking sensors. And then finally, we have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function just there. Last thing I wanted to talk about is the sunroof. So we have a sun blind that opens manually. Then the sunroof itself is electric. Press that button and that will slide all the way back to give you a full sunroof. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.